To access a Skype for Business call, you should get a link similar to the one you see here from the person who is facilitating the call. Go ahead and click that link to open up the Skype call. From here, if you have Skype for Business loaded on your machine, you can go ahead and start the call directly in the client. However, since you may not have that installed, you can join using the Skype for Business web app, which is how we recommend you access Skype for Business calls from a personal computer. When you open the web app, the first time you join the meeting, it may ask you to download and install the web app plugin. To download and install it, follow the steps here by clicking first the Skype for Business web app plugin. You'll see that the file will download to your computer. Run the installation of the Skype for Business web app and then once it's installed you'll see this pop-up appear here. Once you're ready you can type your name in here and join the meeting. You may get a pop-up that asks you to allow the plugin. Make sure to check Always Allow the Plugin and then click Allow. As you can see, now the web call has begun. Just some options inside of Skype for Business. To turn on the chat window, click the IM bubble in the bottom left and you can see the chat conversation will appear. From here you can type a message okay, to add chat so that other participants and the facilitator can see. This is typically a good place to ask questions. You'll notice here there's a video call and if I click that that will turn on my video if I have a webcam. You'll notice here I can mute or unmute my mic I can present if the meeting setup has allowed me to do that. And from here, I can hit the hang up button to leave the call. When a call is actually occurring, in this space here, you will see the screen of the person who's presenting or their video so that you can gather content and participate in the web call with the facilitator.